Welcome to the video. This time we're going to take a look at installing Windows 10 for the first time on a new hard drive. Now I'll be cutting the video short and editing it down so that we stay within a reasonable time frame. Now in the first dialog box we need to set our language, our time and currency and keyboard input method all to UK for me and then click next. So the next dialog box we need to install now. We can do a repair and we'll cover that in another video but for now let's click on install and the setup will begin. At the next stage we'll be asked to input our Windows product key. If you have it you can put it in now or we can click that we don't have it and add it later within Windows. So I'm just going to click later. Next we need to select the version of Windows we're installing and for me it's Pro and then we click next. Now we agree to the licensing terms, you can give that a read if you like and then click next. At this point on a new install we select custom because we only want to install Windows and then we will be presented with the hard drives we've got on the computer. We select the drive and then click next and then Windows will start installing onto your selected hard drive. This might take a while so just keep coming back to it. It will reboot your PC a few times during the installation process and at this point I'll skip through to the next part of the install process to save time. Okay once this part of the install has been completed Windows will restart as Windows reboots, it'll give you an idea of what's actually going on in the background as it continues to install. And this part of the process can take some time, but eventually you will move on to the next part. Next, Windows will make sure you've selected the right region. Click yes if you have. And same with the keyboard. Click yes again. Then it's going to ask you if you want to add a second keyboard. Just click skip unless you have got two keyboards. Windows will then continue the setup process. Next, Windows will ask us how we're going to use our computer. So for most people it's personal use. Click Next. Next, you'll be asked to log in with your Microsoft account. Now you can go ahead and do that. Most people have one now. Or, as I'm going to do, you can select Offline Account and log in later on. Now at this point, because I selected that I was going to use an offline account, I'm being asked again whether I want to use my Microsoft account. I'm going to select limited experience again because I'm not going to use my Microsoft account on this video. If you did use your Microsoft account then you won't see this. If not, select a username and click next. Add a password if you like. You can add it later. Best to add it now and then click next. It's now time to select some personal preferences for Windows. Give these a read and select the ones that you want to use. For this video I'm just going to select no for most of them. The video is just for demonstrating how to install Windows on a new hard drive so I don't need any of this turned on. Um, diagnostics again entirely up to you. A bit more diagnostics to be sent to Microsoft so they can help improve Windows. Again up to you. I select no, accept and then again it's just the same thing. Just give it a quick read, select the one that's most appropriate to you. There's a bit more customization on this screen and again you can select the ones that are appropriate to you, gaming PC, things like that. Next it's whether you want Cortana to access your data and again have a read it's up to you. And then after you've made your selections Windows will continue to install. At this point don't disconnect or turn off your computer while setup continues and eventually you'll boot into the Windows desktop. So this was just a quick edited cut down video looking at the main key points of installing Windows 10 onto a new hard drive and I'd like to thank you for watching and hope this helped.